Namaste, homies. Um, welcome back to my meditation series. Um, today we're going to be doing a, a type of meditation called metta. Metta is another word for um, loving kindness. And I think it's going to be um, really helpful in these strange times we're in to be able to extend a little love. Um, extend a little bit of love to ourselves, our planet, and to some others. So we'll get started. Um, and what we'll do is just start with a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just to get centered. Relaxing the shoulders, the muscles in the face. Last one. Now in this relaxed state, what I want you to do first of all is to consider something in your mind that makes you feel the experience of love. And so um, it can be puppies, it can be flowers, it can be your children, but I would encourage you not to use something that could be triggering, like a deceased pet or loved one. Something that brings you nothing but joy. And I want you just to hold that image in your mind for a little while here. Starting to create this experience of love and joy within our hearts and in our minds. And once you have this, this feeling, I want you to imagine it kind of sitting in the center of your chest. We call this the heart chakra. And you might see it as like a, a loving light. So you might see it as a, you know, like a pink light, whatever light represents love to you. And just see this feeling growing. And imagine you just have this big ball of light and love on your center chest. And I want you to take this and I want you to offer it to someone. So I want you to think of someone you love dearly. Imagine that person standing right in front of you right now. And I want you to offer this energetic love presence you've just created. I want you to tell them and offer them love. I want you to tell them something along the lines of, May you be happy. May you have peace. And may you know love. You might hug this person in your mind's eye. And whatever comes to you naturally is okay. Just extending a little love here. And so next I want you to imagine another person that you can, you can give this love to. And I want you to use someone that is more of an acquaintance, someone that you might not know quite as well. It might be um, someone you've seen at the grocery store lately, your next door neighbor. But I want you to see this person in front of you. I want you to offer this person love. And I want you to say to them, may you be happy May you have peace, and may you know love. Next, I want you to imagine someone in front of you that um, 
that you might actually resent, someone you might consider an enemy. Now this may be a difficult task for some, but I want you to remember that if this person's hurt you, that often hurt people hurt people. To see the light within them, remembering that often when people are making unloving decisions, it's because we've learned incorrectly somewhere along the way. That maybe we have mental health or addiction issues. And often, if we think about it, we've, we've hurt some people in our lives as well. And so this is an opportunity to really extend love to our enemy. Because if they felt loved and they felt whole and they felt peace, they probably wouldn't hurt anyone else. So see what it feels like to, to look this person in the eye and offer them the exact same love that you've just cultivated. And tell them, may you be happy. May you have peace. May you know love. And next, I want you to see a version of yourself. It might be a younger version of yourself. It might be the person you are today. Whatever works for you, just, just see yourself in front of you and offer yourself this love. Often our, our own internal dialogue is not very gentle and we probably wouldn't say the things we say to ourselves out loud to anyone ever. But we're just as deserving of this love, regardless of the things we've done in our past, regardless of the choices we continue to make now that may or may not be unloving. So offer this love to yourself and say, may I be happy. May I have peace. May I know love. And last, I want you to just take this, this ball of love that you've created in your center chest and I want you to see it expanding and growing beyond your physical body, bigger than this room, than this house, than this city you're in, engulfing all of the United States and all of the other countries into the ocean, until the, your heart space is engulfing all of the world. And I want you to offer every single living thing on this planet, including the planet herself, these same words. May you be happy. May you have peace. May you know love. May we all know love. And just sit for a moment and, and see what it feels like. See if you feel different having extended love today. It's my belief that we are either seeking love or we are extending love. If we're not extending love, we might be seeking love in strange ways. And it, it's a universal law that what we put out, we get back. And so I like to just sit for a moment and re realize that I actually feel more loved as a result of extending love. And that's what Metta is all about. Because the fact is we're all interconnected. No one is better than another. Some are just more confused than others. So go ahead and open your eyes when you're ready. And um, I hope um, I hope you enjoyed this meditation and you know feel free to pass it along if you feel like it could make a little bit of a difference in the world. Namaste, people.